Hi guys! In today's video, I thought I would film a meet my puppy video. I recently uploaded a video that was a bit of a puppy haul of a lot of the things that we bought our new puppy before bringing him home. So I thought this video might be relevant, especially if you might be getting a puppy soon, or especially if you are planning to get a whippet. Hopefully the video will be useful if you are looking at getting a dog. I am trying to upload more regularly going forward, so every Monday there should be a new video out. Ralph! Here he is. Meet little Ralphie. Hello to the camera. He's just growing every day. He's getting so big. Aren't you? You're gorgeous. You're a gorgeous boy. Camera shy. You're not looking at the camera. I'll let him go and play now. This is his zoomies time. Okay, bye. So we chose the name Ralph. He's 16 weeks old, he's a blue whippet. So since bringing him home, we've got him into a bit of a routine. So at the moment he has breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast is normally about six o'clock. He wakes up between half five and half six. And then pretty much as soon as he gets up, he'll want his breakfast. Sit. And then he will go back Good to bed boy. after okay, he's in. had his breakfast and his toilet trip. Good boy. And then his lunch time is normally about um, 1 p.m. and then in between we might have a bit of a, a play session trying to teach him a few tricks we'll have a couple of treats in between the meals and then his dinner time is about 6 p.m. we try and stick to these times every day and he knows it's like he knows the time when it gets close to it and he's like telling us that he's hungry and then again we'll try and do tricks in the afternoon obviously time permitting it's a lot easier at the weekend during the week working I try and do a bit on my lunch break so generally day to day he wakes up um, like I said, between half five and six, my partner will get up with him, bring him downstairs, give him his breakfast, go out for his toilet trip, and then he'll come back to bed um, for a little while. And then about 8 a.m., I take him out on a little walk for about 20 minutes. And then when we come back, might do a few tricks, give him a couple of snacks. Usually around four till 6 p.m., he has a bit of like a mad half hour or hour. And they say they have zoomies, so that's definitely true. A good way to tire him out is playing fetch. He loves playing with the ball or just throwing a pair of socks. Pretty much anything you can find, he will bring it back really well. Just playing like tug of war as well on the floor, only gently. We feed him the Pooch and Mutt puppy food. So yeah, we usually order this off their website or off Amazon. We give him three meals a day. On the back of the food packet as well, there is a guide that tells you how much your puppy should be having. If you're a first time dog owner or puppy owner, you might be wondering, like we were, how much you're supposed to feed them. We did try him with the wet food, which he seemed to really like, which we will give him on occasions, but they say that the kibble, like the dry food, is good for their teeth. As I mentioned in my previous video, we do have a slow feeder, so I will weigh out his food to the exact amount, and then transfer it to the slow feeder, and then add some lukewarm water, just to make it a bit easier to eat, and like a bit gravy. Like. So we've recently given him frozen carrots, strawberries and a bit of apple. We've been trying him out with a few different things and he loves everything. He loves food. It is quite food driven, which not all whippets are I don't think. We also give him the pooch and mutt dental sticks. So I'll insert a video here of what they look like. They do a couple of different flavours. They're really good as well and they do take them a little while to chomp through. So his favourite activities are definitely playing fetch with a ball. He also loves playing with socks, slippers and plastic bottles at the top of his list. He's fully vaccinated now. After his second vaccination, we waited a couple of weeks before we took him out and then we just took him on little walks around the block. And um, now we go on about 20 to 30 minutes with him. He loves it if the sun's out, if it's raining, he is a bit of a princess and does not want to go out. We do have a little jumper for him, a little fleecy coat and his harness come in handy when it's cold because he is a whippet, they get cold quite easily. You might see them shivering sometimes. We do need to invest in a new jumper because we got that one when he was quite little so it's getting a bit small on him now. As whippets go, I would say he is a true whippet. He loves to cuddle, he loves to snuggle, he loves blankets, he loves being cosy. He is a real couch potato. And I would say he enjoys his walks but I think he enjoys cuddling with the both of us on the sofa more than anything. <laughs> He's definitely a sun lover wherever the sun is, probably like a lot of dogs, he will be sat in the sunny spot. He is my first puppy I've ever had, but I do think he's quite clever. He seems to pick up things really quickly. He picked up his potty training quite quickly. I would say within two weeks, maybe less. 
he was waiting at the door and knew that he would go out. So we took him out every half an hour after every nap time, every play time, after every meal. Yeah, just really kept an eye on him all the time. If he ever looked like he was gonna go straight outside. And yeah, I would say after a week and a half, he pretty much picked that up. There's two books that we read before we got him, which were really helpful. Um, so the first one was this one, Easy Peasy Puppy Squeezy. This is a really good book and particularly for whippets we got this one i think it was just off amazon so i would recommend those two books this one for any puppy we also watched a lot of a youtube channel called one man and his whippet that's really good another youtube channel that we watched is the worried whippet i think that's the name that's the name on instagram anyway and there's kiwi the whippet on instagram both super cute pages i would say if you're thinking about getting a dog or a puppy just do a lot of research into the different breeds first we spent a long time looking at different breeds different energy levels grooming needs like in particular whippets don't shed so that was a big one for us they would do love golden retrievers and labradors and also like half an hour to an hour is enough walking for whippets whereas maybe labradors or cocker spaniels generally need more than that and he wasn't too expensive to look after so there's a few things to take into consideration but overall they give you so much love he's so sweet he makes me laugh every day with his little antics i love training him and teaching him new tricks it makes me feel really proud when he learns something and then next time i ask him he does it his sweet little eyes that look up to you and just jump on your lap on the sofa when he wants a cuddle and I also really love the fact that it gets me outside every day I love going on walks with him and I can't wait until he's slightly bigger and we can do some bigger walks we go to Abersock in Wales a lot and I can't wait to take him on some lovely big walks but then I will miss the puppy stage because they're just so cute and so little and he's gonna get bigger but there's always things to look forward to in each stage yeah really looking forward to taking him to the beach can't wait to uh to do that i think he'll love it if you've got any questions about getting a puppy or a whippet in particular i did a lot of research into it before we brought him so feel free to ask me any questions in the comments likewise if you're a well experienced dog owner or have puppies yourself and have got some top tips for me please leave it in the comments because i would love to know thanks very much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please give it a big like and please subscribe if you want to it's free <laughs> thanks guys See you in the next one. Bye.